Hello, my name is Tanya and welcome to my channel, Double T's Treasures. If you like thrifting, if you like opening mystery boxes and going thrifting at the Goodwill, going to estate sales and garage sales, then this is the channel for you. You are in the right place. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell and then you'll be alerted every time I post a new video. Now, this video is part two of the New Orleans thrift trip that my husband and I took. New Orleans is about an hour and 20 minutes from me. Uh, I do have my second part of my haul here. The first haul that I did, I will link um, towards the end of this video in the top right corner and you'll want to check that out. We got several pieces. We did very well at that Goodwill. It's over by Tulane College. And then once we were done there, uh, we went out to the car. I hit Google and put in show me thrift stores near me. And we found this thrift store called The Bridge House. It was actually right around the corner from where we were. I think it took us less than five minutes to get there. Uh, I do have footage from those stores. There were actually two. The first one that we went to was kind of small, uh, but there was a lot of stuff there. And then while we were checking out, the lady asked me if we had been to their sister store and I didn't even know there was one. She gave us the address that was over by the airport. We still had like an hour and a half before they closed. So we thought, why not? We went ahead and ran over there and found a few more items. So this thrift haul that I'm going to show you is from those two stores. I'm going to insert some video here of the two stores that we went to just so that you can see the layout. And then once we get done there, I will go ahead and show you the haul that I have. See you in a minute. Okay. We're at our second thrift store in New Orleans. This one's a uh, thrift store and used cars <laughs> pretty funny but we're heading into the thrift store entrance first you remember the name of this oh it's called bridge house right bridge house and grace house bridge house and grace house thrift store it was right around the corner from the goodwill we were just at so let's go see what they got don't miss out on the hot new arrivals that's what i want a hot new arrival all right. Me too, thank you. Hello. Is it a certain like color tag or? For white clothing? For the 50% off? So everything is half off in the store. Okay. for furniture and new bedding and furniture and Okay. Yes. And then that's the only sale going on, right? Yeah. This dollar clothes and that's on the smaller one. Yeah, and I got out some dollars from the other way. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> the music is super loud in here. Not sure how much I'll be able to record. She said they do have um, dollar clothes and dollar shoes. <laughs> you want to take those home? Yep, we're gonna get these. The whole set. Can you read that? I don't even know what that says. I've never seen anything like that. What is that? Well, it's got a thing on the back, like a pressure thing. It's got a spout on the front. I have no idea what that is. <laughs> Water steam can cause burns, so maybe it's like a warming plate. Ooh, what are these? I need to see what that says underneath. I can't read it with the tapes in the way. That's a cute little pencil table. <laughs> huh? It's a little radio shack. Oh, it's a little like weather radio thingy. Kind of.
Could you tell where the dollar stuff was? I know it says last stop, but it's up there. I can't hear you. Oh, okay. Okay, so that thrift store was fun. I liked it. They had uh, a bunch of last chance dollar stuff as you probably saw in the video. Uh, I'm not sure how much of the video you're gonna get to see yet because they were jamming the music in there and we all know how that works on YouTube, not so well. So we were gonna go to um, Salvation the Army. Salvation Army is where we planned on going and then when we were checking out, the lady said, oh, have you been to our other thrift store that's three times the size of ours? Yep. We said, uh, no. So she gave us the address and that's where we are. So we're going to go into this thrift store instead of the Salvation Army because I really like that one and I got some good stuff out of there. So hopefully this one's just as good, if not better. Got and, an and I got an hour and a half. <laughs> I got an hour and a half. So we'll see. Not even quite that, actually, because it's 4.09 and they close at 5.30. Yep. So, let's see what we can pull out of here real quick. Here, let's flip this camera around. Okay, so this is their sister store, I guess you would call it. And it's a super thrift store, it says. So, let's go check this one out. Mm-hmm. old one. It's like an old Jenny Lynn yeah, almost. Actually, yeah, is that a Jenny Lynn? No. It's a Delta. Oh, they're shoes. Boatloads of shoes. Cute. What? I might be able to video in here now that they cut the music off. We only have 30 minutes left. We're going to see how big this sucker is. I'm going to have to come over here. It's on Airline Drive. And that whole middle section is the last chance dollar section. Crazy. It's pretty big. Look, it's still in the thingy. No, scan that bad boy. That's funky. Some little kid might be like into that. I don't have much time left. I just don't want to ship them. Mm -hmm. I just don't want to ship them. I only ship them if they're like they're super expensive. Ooh, what's that thing though? Shh. Oh, they're cool looking. So this section all right here is their last stop for a dollar. All of those clothes right there. That's a lot. I hope you all enjoyed these videos. It's 150 freaking degrees out today. <laughs> I'm just saying. Reality 102. Oh, okay. Well, whatever. It feels like 150. Anyway, so we're getting kicked out. They're doing the countdown to get the heck out of the store because it's 530. And I said, if I only have one more aisle to go through, what am I going to go through? Of course, it's the athletic aisle. Like, the second to last thing going through the rack, this girl finds Lululemon. I'm just saying. It was the only piece. It was I found, only found one piece today out of all the stores we went to. That was the only piece of Lululemon I found. The very last freaking rack with, like, the last three pieces. Sweet. So, 5.30, all the uh, thrift stores are closed, so we're going to go to our favorite place to eat over here. And I'll show you here in just a minute once we get there. Yep, we have arrived. 
Cheesecake Factory. We don't have one in Mississippi. So we always go when we come over here. Okay, so I'm back. Are you ready to see everything we got? Uh, I got a lot from both thrift stores. I guess it wasn't a ton maybe, but I think we did pretty well. Uh, the thrift store does have a sale. Every So everything in their store was 50% off of whatever it was tagged. Then they also had uh, a couple separate sections that had big signs that said last stop. So you may have seen that in the video if, um, cause I think I was panning around so where you could see it and everything that's last stop is a dollar. So, uh, I, I'll know which ones I paid a dollar for because they hole punched the tags. So I'll be able to remember which ones I paid a dollar for, but we are going to go ahead and get started on this haul. I'm going to, uh, do the first store. I'll show you all the items that we got from the first store first. And then I'll follow up with the second store. Now, the second store, we didn't have near the same amount of time in there that we did in the first store. So not uh, quite as many items, but we still did well as far as I'm concerned. So let's get into the haul. So this first item that we got is this Nucor Stoneware Country Village set made in Japan. Uh, as you can see, the tag said $30 for the entire set. I'm not going to pull the whole set out to show you, but... It does have the plates, the bread plates, and then it came with some bowls, cups, saucers, um, salt and pepper shaker, and the creamer and the sugar bowl. Now, a lot of times I will sell this all as one set, but I'm not going to this time. This time I'm going to sell it, I'm gonna divide it up. So I'm gonna sell each section separate. I will make more money that way, and it's easier to ship. And here's what it says on the back so that you can see it there. So $15 for that whole set. Next up, we have these Winnie the Pooh Hallmark cards. Um, I know these are invitations slash like announcements. I know a lot of people will pay up for Hallmark items and they will also pay up for Winnie the Pooh items. So I thought I would go ahead and give this a try. This is not something I would normally sell, uh, but I have heard others say that they look for items like these. So I thought, why not? I only paid a couple bucks for it. And obviously I'm gonna double to triple my money and that's okay. Now, you know, I thrift for myself too when we're out and about, of course. And this was just a wireless remote cooking thermometer. Got it for a couple bucks. Uh, I wanna try it. I've always wanted one of these, just didn't know how well they would work and I didn't wanna spend a lot of money for one. So this is perfect. It's still new in package and I only paid $2 for it. So these shoes are kind of new to me. I've never heard of them before. They're G Defy. I'm assuming that's how you say it. It's right there. They are like a um, walking shoe. If you could see the high back on them. Uh, I've sold shoes like these before, but not this brand. This brand uh, looks like it sells very well actually and for decent money. So again, I paid $11 for these. I paid up a little bit. But I'm thinking I can get probably 45, possibly 50 for these based upon their condition. They're so nice. Okay, these are for me again. These are just a little pair of bobs, just the brown. These will be cute this fall. And these were in the last stop section. So I got these for a buck. Now I just love this utensil caddy. It is very heavy. It is very nice wood. Uh, it has a religious saying on the front of it and it's made by Mary and Martha and I had to look this up when I was in the store because I hadn't heard of them before but they're kind of like a catalog company almost like a like a Tupperware where they travel around and set up in different places or set up in your home they have very nice stuff so I picked up this uh, utensil caddy I had just seen that one sold on Poshmark not too long ago for $40 so I thought, why not try it? Okay, so that's it for my hard goods and my shoes that I got there. And now we're gonna go ahead and get into the clothes. And the very first thing that's up is a brand that I have not found before. I have found the brand uh, Miss Look before, which is the one that is not the high-end brand. It's the one that you get maybe 15, 
maybe $20 for if it's super elaborate. I have gotten that before on those pieces. I don't normally pick up the Miss Look because of that reason. They have to be very elaborate and just kind of off the wall in order to sell them for that price. But I found a Miss Look and it's the first time that I've ever found it. It is a tank top, which I don't even care. Here's the tag. This is the actual tag that you want to look for. But it's an acrylic tank, but it's, I mean, it's kind of dressy. It has the slit on the sides and it's all black and it's in a really good size. So it looks like I should be able to get right around 35 for this, which is a great price for a tank top. Next up, we have one of the last stop dollar pieces. This is a Etcetera. It is only a size four, but it is 100% silk and it's a great color. The, the brown's very pretty. And I just figured it would be something nice to wear under like a blazer or something this fall. Next up, we have this t-shirt that I bought for my husband. It was also on the dollar rack. Here's another dollar piece that I found. See how they punch there. They put like a star punch in their tags. This is an L.L. Bean. And if you've been around me any length of time, you know that that is one of my favorite brands to sell. And this is a nice thermal knit shirt for a guy. Great green color. Next up, I got this new with tag Puma shirt. Got it for my husband. These pants, I only paid $5.50 for, and they are Armani men's pants. They're in excellent condition. There's the tag right there. And it also has it on the booty pocket. So I believe I looked these up in the store and they were doing very well. I can't remember the exact amount though, sorry. And this little pretty top I got for myself. I just love the colors on it. I thought it was so pretty. And it's, you can either wear it off the shoulder or not. And this will make a super pretty top for this fall. Love it. I did find a free people piece there. It's just like a basic, nothing real spectacular, but I just thought it was cute. And I only paid $4.50 for it. Again, we have another dollar piece. It's a Denver Bronco shirt, perfect. Football season has already started, preseason's already going. I think the Bears play Saturday night if y'all are interested in watching. This is a brand that I don't pick up uh, very often unless it's like super, super cute or I want it for myself. But this was new with Tag and it was on the dollar rack. It is Wild Fable, but it's a plaid dress and I just thought it was super cute. This would be cute with some black tights and black booties. I may even try this on and I might even keep it for myself. I'm not quite sure yet, but we'll see. Can you see a trend here? Pretty sure I bought a lot for myself and my hubby. <laughs> this is a nice Pearl Azumi. These usually do very, very well. Pearl Azumi probably sells the best for me out of all the cycling equipment that I buy. This one's actually the Elite Series and it's a double X. So that's fantastic. I do not suspect that this will stay in my store very long at all. And then I also got some pink pajamas. I don't know if I'm going to keep these or not. I'm super tempted to keep these, but I really should list them. I'm probably going to list them. I have like two, look, confession time. I have two dresser drawers of nothing but pajamas. Does somebody really need that many pajamas? I'm not sure. Obviously, I think I do. And I fibbed to you earlier. I thought I had shown you all the hard goods, but I did not. I picked this up. This was $4, so it was $2 being half off. And this is like, I'm not sure if this is a towel holder or a toilet paper roll holder or what it is, but it's like medieval and whenever I list stuff that's like in that category of medieval, it usually sells really fast. So this is actually metal, it's not plastic. So I figured two bucks, 
why not take the chance? And that is it for that first store. So we're gonna go ahead and move on into the second store. All righty y'all, so here comes store number two. This is the one that's over by the airport. And the first thing I picked up were these pair of fry boots. I have not found a pair of fry boots in a hot minute. It's been quite a while. These are super nice. They are a platform. They have a nice, thick, chunky heel, and they're in very, very good condition. So these will be very nice to be putting in my store right now. Next is this pair of Johnson and Murphy loafers. These are brand spanking new, have never been worn. I looked these up in the store and I think I can get like 35 to 45 for these. I can't remember the exact price, but it was a decent amount. Next is a pair of slides that I am pretty sure are fake. However, I tried them on in the store and they fit me. So if they turn out to be fake, which I'm pretty sure that they are, but I'm not 100% sure that they are, they're just gonna go to me, which is fine, because I love them. So it just gives me excuse to keep them, right? Because they're fake and I can't sell them. So I just have to keep them then. Isn't that what you do? <laughs> Pair of Fendi slides, these are probably not legit, but they feel really good. They're very squishy. Uh, they do say Fendi on there, but yeah, I really don't think it says made in Italy, but you know, these little fakers, they just, they put anything anywhere anymore. So I don't really believe a whole lot, but again, I don't think that these are real, but they are super, super comfortable and they're quite adorable. So pretty sure I'm going to be keeping these. And then next up, I picked up this little, I guess it's like a little plate and that's probably like a little candle holder, but it's made by, it's made exclusively for Yankee Candle. And I really like the color of it in the design. And I paid a dollar, I got two sets of these and I paid a dollar a set. So I figured if I look them up and they don't sell for a whole lot, that's okay. Uh, I'm redoing my dining room anyway, and these will kind of match it. So we'll have to see. I'll check it out first and see, you know, if I can sell them, obviously first I will, but if not, I won't be too heartbroken about it. Okay, so that's it for the hard goods for there and we're gonna jump into the clothes real fast and there's not a whole lot of them. Again, remember I didn't have that much time and I was kind of just like looking around at everything because it was just such a big store. That second store over by the airport is just, it's very large. These are just some champion shorts I got for a dollar for myself. Still seeing that for myself trend? <laughs> guess what? G can you guess? Look, another pair of shorts that I got for myself. Those will be nice to wear this summer. And this I got for a dollar. It was in the last chance uh, section. It's a women's Pendleton button up shirt but it is long sleeve. Cute little blouse, I think. That should do pretty good. And for a dollar, you can't, who can pass up Pendleton for a dollar? I know I can't. This, I bought this because of the patch. Uh, I'd like to buy military items. Military stuff does pretty well for me. And this is an Army Navy Country Club jacket. So somebody had put the patch on there. It's not, um, it doesn't have like that on the inside. This is just a regular jacket. And then they put the patch on there, but I believe it'll do pretty good. It's a quarter zip. It's nice and thin. And guess what? A dollar. And I got these cute pair of stretchy pants again for a dollar. And they are Lori Goldstein. You'll see this is how you'll know. You'll see the logo, L-O-G-O, -O, like that. And I only buy her larger sizes. I don't buy anything that's too small. But even though these are a plain black stretch pant, I thought they would do well because they have like the gray flare at the bottom. So I thought they were cute. And they were a dollar. Did I say they were for a dollar? 
I think I did. Okay, so my husband was rushing me to leave the store because they were rushing us to get out. And it was, they were fixing to close the door. I had five minutes and I said, let me just run down this athletic aisle real fast. I didn't get to look at the athletic pants. And so I did. I said, you go stand in line with the buggy and I'll go run over here real fast and see what I can find. Thumb through all the racks, going down pretty fast. The second to last pair, no lie. That's what I found. And I don't, I'm not sure these were even worn. I got these bad boys for four bucks because they wanted $7.95. Got them for half off because everything's half off unless it's a dollar. And look at them. They're like the wide leg. They're full length. I honestly, look, they still even have this tag in the middle. I mean, how often do you find a pair of Lululemon with a dang long tag in there? It's pretty rare. What size are these? And they're a size eight. I suspect these are going to go pretty fast. They're really, really nice. And truthfully, I do not believe that they've been worn. I don't, I don't see anything anywhere. And the last piece that I got uh, is just a pair of Nike size medium. They're just do it. I got them because it had the blackout just do it down the leg. If they would have just been plain black without anything on there, I, I would not have picked them up. But that was the only reason why I did is because it had the black on black just do it on there. So that's why I picked them up. Okay, so that's the end of my thrift haul for those two stores, uh, the Bridge House. Don't forget, if you're in the New Orleans or Metairie area, go support them. They do um, addiction recovery and they have programs and that's where their money from their thrift stores go. So I love to support that kind of thing and I'm sure they're making a huge difference over there. So go check them out if you're in the area or if you live in the area and you didn't know about them, now you know and I'm glad I could tell you. My husband and I had a blast over in New Orleans thrifting and we'll see you next time. Bye.